Hello again everybody and welcome back to Fugit's Blitz. Mm. Pay to win. Well before we get into that, the replays you're going to see have nothing to do with paying to win. They're just replays for aesthetic purposes only. It gives you something to look at whilst you listen to me rabble and you know generally waffle on about something. So why am I doing this video? Well I'm doing this video because a friend of mine um, good YouTuber, great player. Every good name is taken of the clan. Nice. That's right. Nice. Not G-nice. Not G-nice. Just nice. Did a video on, well, yesterday I believe, on Operation Onslaught, aka Battle Pass. And he had a little bit of a rant. And you know what? He was justified. Because there is... A, a an undertone that's been coming through the community for a long time now about pay to win and I hear it a lot I hear a lot of people say the game is pay to win and well let's just get it out there straight away it's nonsense this game is not pay to win nowhere near pay to win um, I mean I've spent a small fortune on this game mainly because when I decided to do YouTube, I decided I had to get all the tanks to review them, which is something I've stopped doing now, because it gets expensive when they come out in crates. But I'm also a tank collector, so that happens as well. And it's probably one of my only, it's, well, it's the only game I play, realistically. And, you know, if I can afford to spend some money on it, I do. But you know what? My stats don't show me that I'm paying to win, <laughs> if, if anything. It shows me that I'm paying to lose. So I just want to get this notion that Water Tanks Blitz is pay to win, because it's not. And a lot of people have this idea because premium tanks. And they think that when a premium tank comes out, uh, some, of, some of them are OP whatever that may be. Well, OP basically means overpowered and yeah, AKA broken. Now, I'll be honest with you. There's only one real broken tank in the game, in my opinion, and that is the Kenny Otsu. And it's broken because, well, it's broken. I mean, the, 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 the load time and the reload time is just broken. They, they put, typed in the wrong parameters and it's a broken tank. Does that mean it's OP? Well, no, it means it's broken. Now, let's just look at this overpowered, broken scenario. Um, I can give you the worst player in the game, stick him in the most broken tank in the game, the Kenny Otsu, and he'll die within 30 seconds because the tank itself has no armor. And, you know, whilst it's got a great reload, that's all it's got, a good reload. So anybody who knows what they're doing in the damn tanks is going to wipe out Kenny Otsu straight away. We then look at other so-called broken tanks like the WZ-120 GFT, the Tier 8 Chinese TD, which again is a premium tank, which again people say is OP. Well, yes and no. It, it's it's not broken, it's not OP, it's just a bloody good tank. And it just happens to be a premium. Now the thing is, again, in the right hands, that tank is formidable. In the wrong hands, that tank is naff. It's awful, it's truly shocking. And people who can't play the tank will not do well in the tank. And it's the same with the Smasher. Again, another powerful tank basically a kv2 on steroids another so-called premium it's actually a collector which is again another tank that you have to buy but again in the wrong hands it's pants in the right hands boy it's formidable and yes it will give you an edge on the battlefield and then we come to another premium tank the collector sorry the T-22 medium. Again, another tank that you have to buy. A tank that came in crates, actually, and costs a lot to buy. And again, a tank that in the right hands is absolutely rock solid. 
in the wrong hands, pants. There's a theme, if you noticed, and the theme is this. It's not the tank that is generally OP, it's the player that is generally OP. Now, you could stick a free-to-play player in one of those tanks, and if they're very good, then they will show that the tank is very good. And then I could stick a player who spends a lot of money on the game, who's not very good, and he will show you that the tank isn't very good. So I want to dispel this myth that tanks are OP. It's not. The player is OP, not the tank. It all depends. The tank only becomes OP when the person behind the steering rod, or the controls, whatever you want to call it, knows how to play the damn tank. And that's the thing. And this is the thing in the concept you need to get into your heads, that a good player will exploit the advantages that the tank has. Just like a good player will understand the weaknesses of the tank and make sure that he doesn't overexpose. Whereas a bad player will just think, well, the tank's broken, it's OP, I can do whatever I like in it and I'm going to win. It doesn't work that way. So, broken tanks notwithstanding, what else is there to show that it's not pay to win? Well, previously, long time back, when you bought a premium tank, when you bought any tank actually, even when you grinded a tank, you were given preferential MM. Seriously, if you bought a premium tank, your first 10 games, you were always going to be top tier. And then after 10 games, you weren't. Wargaming got rid of that. There is no preferential MM anymore, as such. There is in some tanks, like the B2. I mean, that's always top tier. But that's part of the package. It's not a great tank at the best of times. But they've got rid of this preferential MM. So there's no guarantee that if you buy a premium tank and spend money, you're going to be preferentially mm doesn't work that way anymore. It used to, but not anymore. So that's gone. What other evidence is there to show that it's pay to win? I mean, I've, I've rolled out in numerous battles. The T92 is broken because it's broken and a good player will exploit how broken it is. And to the extent, the Sheridan is also slightly broken. What with the missiles? These are not buy tanks. You don't buy these tanks. These are tech tree tanks. So I'll guarantee you this. You can roll out in a tier nine, in tier eight game in your shiny premium and you could, be coming, you could come across a tune of T-92s, which are tech tree, which you don't need to pay for. And they will decimate that battlefield. So you've not paid to win, have you? You've paid to lose, effectively, because the person in the tech tree tank, i.e. the missile tank, is beating you. So where is this fallacy that the game is either A, pay to win, or B, going down the road of pay to win? It's not. And, you know, every good name is taken is right on this point that there's a lot of negativity surrounding this so-called pay-to-win thing. Guys, it, it does not exist in Blitz. You're not paying to win. Really, you're not. What you're paying for are advantages over those who don't pay. So, for example, if you, if, if, if you buy a premium tank, then your credit coefficient goes up. You having the tank doesn't mean guarantee you're going to win. It just means you're going to get more credits and more XP. If you buy premium account, it doesn't guarantee you're going to win. It guarantees more XP, more credits. And this is the theme that underlines Blitz. The more premium tanks you buy, the more chances you've got of getting more credits. That is it. There is absolutely no guarantee whatsoever you will win. The only guarantee is that you'll get more credits. That's it. Nothing more. So seriously, if you really do believe this is a pay to win game, I, like every good name is taken, would like to know the evidence that leads you to that conclusion. Because seriously, I've been playing this game since 2014. And I have literally spent a small fortune on this game in those you know, six years. And 
you know, I, my, my stats do not show that I'm being preferred on a pay-to-win basis. Seriously, it, it's not. It, 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 it's that straightforward. And if it was pay-to-win, my stats would show that. So i really love to see the evidence of this pay-to-win malarkey. Seriously, I would. Anyway, I, I wanted to do this video because I saw Every Good Name is Taken's video. And I thought, you know, he makes a really, really, really good point there. That there is negativity surrounding some things in the game, especially in the community. And this pay-to-win stuff is cropping up more and more. And Every Good Name is Taken addressed it because comments were put onto his YouTube community tab about the battle pass, which again is not pay to win. It, it's pay to get more, more stuff. Simple. You don't need to pet buy it. If you buy it, then you get more stuff, in-game goods. That's about it. And the chance to get two premium tanks, well, I collect two collector tanks, whatever they may be. There's nothing there saying that you buy this premium pass you are going to be guaranteed a win. It doesn't work that way. And, and I thought, you know, I, I'd like to show him some support on this because he's right. He is 100% correct. There is absolutely no evidence in my mind to suggest that this game is either A, going down the road of pay to win, or B, is currently there. No evidence at all. And if you can show me that evidence, if you can say to me, Fujit, here is intangible evidence showing that without a shadow of a doubt, this game is pay to win, then I will eat my hat on live stream. It's as simple as that. I have a hat, I will eat it on live stream. But for you to do that, and for me to do that. In fact, no, I'm going to do one better. If you can give me irrefutable proof that World of Tanks Blitz is pay to win, and I mean irrefutable, without a shadow of a doubt, you can show me 100% this is a pay to win game, then I will gift you 38,000 uh, gold. Simple fact. I will do that. I will give you 38,000 gold or whatever the is, 38,700 isn't it or something, I don't know, approximately 38,000 gold, $100 worth of gold, but you've got to give me rock solid, irrefutable, 100% proof, and I'm a lawyer, so, you know, it's got to be beyond a shadow of a doubt that this is a pay to win game, if you do that, you get all that gold, and I'll eat my hat on live stream, can't say fairer than that, anyway, I've been Fujit. This hasn't been a rant video. This has just been a let's, you know, settle the scores a little bit video and support what every good name is taken video. By all means, you've got any decent replay, send them to me, fujitsblitz at gmail.com or upload them to my Discord server, whichever's easier for you. Please comment, like, and all the other stuff below. If you haven't yet pressed subscribe, please do so. It puts a smile on my face, makes me happy, costs you nothing, and all that sort of jazz. I'd like to do, as per usual, give a big shout out to my Patreons, who without their continued support, these videos would be a lot harder to make. So, uh, once again, I really appreciate your support, guys. And in the current situation, please stay indoors, stay safe, have fun on the battlefield, and happy tanking. Because you know what, guys, that really is what it is all about, having fun and being happy.